What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people of the Crasher community? How are you guys doing today? So in this video, we have ourselves an interesting follow-up in regards to the Twitch situation. And oh boy, this right here is just, okay, let's just get right into this because it's definitely damn interesting, y'all. So starting things off, Twitch ends up tweeting out, Yesterday, we released new branded content guidelines that impacted your ability to work with sponsors to increase your income from streaming. These guidelines are bad for you and bad for Twitch, and we are removing them immediately. Sponsorships are critical to streamers' growth and ability to earn income. We will not prevent your ability to enter into direct relationships with sponsors. You will continue to own and control your sponsor sponsorship business. We want to work with our community to create the best experience on Twitch, and to do that, we need to be clear about what we're doing and why we're doing it. We appreciate your feedback and help in making this change. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like Twitch had actually seen the light. Well, they either seen the light or they seen a lot of panic in their eyes because they knew for a fact that they were going to be bleeding money and Twitch streamers if they actually doubled down with those ridiculous changes that they had tried to pull on the Twitch community. And I think this Twitter account sums it up beautifully. To be fair, this seems to be an actual apology. The problem is, you're only doing it because you're losing streamers and you're losing money. You're not doing it to help streamers. Get wrecked. And that's just it. I think, honestly, this right here is just a case of damage control and trying to sprinkle in as much sugar on top of the shit as much as possible to try to bait and goad any gullible individuals into actually believing that this right here was 100% a genuine mistake and that this right here wasn't totally a way for Twitch to find another way to not only monopolize their streamers, but siphon more money out of them. Like, this doesn't come off as an apology at all. This right here actually comes off as you backpedaling because you got caught with your pants fucking down when it came to trying to find another way to screw over the very community that built up your platform in the first place. And nobody gives a rat's ass that this right here is from Amazon because because you could be one of the richest companies in the world. If you create a product and no one buys into it, then does it even exist? Who fucking cares about it if no one is interested? Uh-oh, wait a second, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves some other interesting standout replies that basically imply that it didn't exactly get removed in the guidelines as it's still there. So, wait a second now. Are these changes still going through? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! And I was directed to some interesting numbers right here. First off, we have ourselves a big E that ends up saying, Nice try, and attached to the tweet is an image that reads the following. 12 advertisements. Twitch has the exclusive right to monetize the Twitch service, including without limitation, the exclusive right to sell, serve, and display advertisements on the Twitch services. This means you may not, nor may you allow, a third party to insert or embed pre-recorded advertising units into your live stream, including without limitation video advertisements, whether pre, mid, or post-roll, display or banner advertisements, and audio advertisements. And we have Fuzzy Bear actually pointing out the same thing. It's in their TOS under section 12. So let's go on the terms of service of Twitch and oh, wait a second. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Seems like we put two and two together and this here is still a thing in terms of service. Well done, Twitch. Totally a big brain move right there that you're doing. So you say you're removing these guidelines, yet these are still in your terms of service. Like, which is it, Twitch? I am so confused. But I guess that right there is just another example of the type of shit that is so totally on brand for Twitch. They don't care about their streamers. All they care about is how they can get their pockets lined off of the efforts of all of the Twitch streamers that put forth content hours upon hours upon hours a day. And here's the thing as well, is that if you really cared so much about your streamers, then why is it that there's still the ridiculous and asinine 50-50 sub-revenue split? 
Like, you're taking literally half of your streamer's shit. At least make it 70-30. But yeah, things like this are just another beautiful reminder as to why I will never ever waste a second of my life and effort on Twitch because, yeah, straight up, fuck that platform, man. Get wrecked. But yeah, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is it here for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you next time.